Our very first presentation is uh, by Cheryl Zhao, who I mentioned is a PhD candidate in the School of Marketing in the Faculty of Business and Law, and uh, her presentation is exploring the use of virtual reality um, uh, for the perception of tourism atmospheres at mine sites. So. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Cheryl. Firstly, I like, like, would like to thank Health Center for giving this opportunity to do this uh, presentation for my internship project with Health Center. My background is a PhD student uh, in School of Marketing. I have chosen this project because of its alignment with my PhD study uh, to investig investigate how the atmosphere of mine sites can be transformed to the tourism attractions by using virtual reality as a tool. Okay, now let's begin. As you can see on the screen, my topic is uh, virtual reality to explore the perception of tourism atmospheres at my sites. To get started, let uh, me first to introduce a key definition of my presentation, the perception of tourism atmosphere. I call it PTA. PTA actually can be defined as uh, tourist feelings that are evoked by the atmosphere of a place. Research suggests that uh, atmosphere plays a very important role in creating the emotional and uh, connections between tourists and uh, tourist attractions. With a, a large number of abundant mines, the purpose of the research is to investigate how positional interventions into authentic atmospheres as demonstrated by virtual reality, for example, at mine sites, influence tourists' intentions to visit. As we know, money is the backbone of Australia. Research finds there are more than 60,000 abundant mines across Australia, which in their original state may be deemed as non-picturesque. However, abundant mines can be reused through exploring tourism opportunities. Atmosphere here is a significant feature of tourist attractions because uh, they influence the cognitive and emotional of tourists as well as their behaviors. Uh, however, at present, there is very little research that examines tourism atmospherics at man sites or even in the context of industry sites. Let's, let, now let's move on to virtual reality experience. We are both the boundary between the physical and virtual worlds and enables users to uh, experience authentic atmosphere of attractions. The project applied a 360 degree experimental VR environment to ensure that participants could immerse themselves into a similar atmosphere to the actual place. Now let's consider uh, my pro research question and the objectives. The research question from the project is how to atmospheric interventions influence the perception and visit intentions of visitors at man size. Based on this question, I have four objectives. The first one, to investigate how we are experienced impacts PTA at man size. The second, to examine how the PTA impacts on visit intentions at man size. And the third one, to examine how cultural background influences PTA and visit intentions at man size. The last, to examine how atmospheric interventions influence PTA and visit intentions at man size. Okay, now let's do the hypothesis and the research model. This model can be divided into three parts. The first part is the relationship between cultural familiarity, beautification, their experience, attitude to geological sites, attitude to industry or uh, tourists, and the relationship between the, these two variables and to PTA. The second part is the relationship between, between PTA and attitude towards man size. And the third part is uh, the relationship between attitude towards man size to visit intention. My next point is uh, mastology. In this study based on two mine sites, Kargoolie Super Pit in Australia and Huangshi National Man Park in China. As we know, Kargoolie was uh, 
can uh, Australia's largest open cut uh, mine uh, gold mine pitch in 2016, where well, Huangshi National Mine Park is known to be the largest mine size in, in Asian countries. That is the reason why I choose to, these two mines. In my project, participants experience the atmospheres by using the VR headsets from Hive Center as if they were part of the mine size. The VR experience was implemented by using the VR headsets from Hive Center, uh, include Quest 2 headsets, Quest headsets, and Ocul Oculus Go headsets. And the video was around 12 minutes, combined eight pieces of the 3D panoramic photos which were selected from the mine size with some mining audios and in order to create the immersive feelings of participants. Now let me illustrate the process for the data collection. The data collection conducted in Hive uh, Center during uh, from 19th of January to, to 22nd of January 2021, and most of uh, our Hive students uh, joined my uh, data collection. And when the participants came to Hive Center, I, will I introduced uh, the, the procedure of the project and the use of variable devices and saw their consent form. And then and participants were on the 3D headsets and view the uh, videos taken from the specific mind size. And afterwards, they uh, ex participants in a questionnaire and on their perception of uh, atmosphere at mind size and the visit intentions and the attitude towards mind size. And finally, after I uh, collected data from participants will have center survey, I put all the data into Excel and then analysis in SPSS. Okay, now let's see the results for the data analysis. 126 value data had been collected from the survey. Around 55% of respondents were female and 31 aged from 29 to 34. The majority of the served have completed a postgraduate degree around 58.7 and the Chinese respondents about 76% were three times as many as non-Chinese and who come from Australia, Brazil, France and uh, Indonesia. Uh, on the right hand, now we can see a bar chart about the emoji scale and most emoji participants prefer the small happy face here. Most emoji participants prefer the, the, that one, which represents like moderately, and followed by the big happy face on the right side, which stands for like very, very much. Okay, for the measurement of arousal and pleasure, they were illustrated by the affected grade. Uh, participants' current modes can describe on a nine uh, times nine scale, and the more vivid colors in the shaded uh, sections above, and the more that responses was shared by survey respondents. We can see from the two tables and uh, from the heat maps uh, there, and the participants' emotions for Karguli were more excitement and uh, arousal than the Huang Shiman Park. Uh, well, the more participants felt relaxed and probably a little bit sleepiness when they were experiencing uh, Huangshi National Park. So we can see the difference uh, from the two heat map clearly. Let me move on the factor loadings and uh, crumb batch alpha. And I use the uh, factor loadings to detect the reliability of the factors. Crumb batch alpha about a 0 0.65 suggests that these measures have good contract reliability. We can see from the table, the factor one we are experiencing and the uh, factor two PDA and the crumb batch alpha is 0 0.9, which uh, and uh, the factor three attitude towards man size, uh, the alpha, uh, Crumb batch alpha is 0 0.81. That means uh, they all about 0 0.65 suggests that these measures have good contract reliability. And the remaining atoms are single atom variables. Uh, they can exhibit uh, phase uh, validity. 
Next is the result for coloration coefficients analysis. As can be seen from the table, colorations between the contracts were low to moderate, with the highest being 0 0.69, between PTA and attitude towards man size. All colorations here were uh, below 0 0.8, suggesting that all variables exhibit uh, discriminant uh, validity. And now let me illustrate why there's a model supported by the data analysis. First, I use the independent groups t-test to assess the aesthetical significance between the first two variables, culture and familiarity. And uh, we can see from the table, the uh, culture is, uh, the significance for the culture is very different between the two groups, non-Chinese group and Chinese group. It should be noted that uh, the non-Chinese group is, uh, uh, is 5.16, the mean is 5.16 and higher than the Chinese group, 4.39. And for, however, because of the significance value for familiarity group is uh, 0.52, which is about 0.5. As a result, the familiarity of man sets uh, did not process a significant difference in perception of tourism atmosphere at man size. Next part is regressions analysis between a single dependent variable and several uh, independent variables. If the p-value below here is below uh, 0 0.5, uh, then the hypothesis was positive. Uh, after a migration regression analysis with SPSS, we can say the hypothesis 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8 were supported by the analysis. However, uh, hypothesis 5, uh, the, attitude, uh, the attitude to geological sites, is, uh, the result is 0 0.745, so it's not supported by the analysis. And the similar, the familiarity one is uh, also was not supported. Is the result is the same with the t tags before. Okay, the so slide is the model and hypothesis uh, verification, and we can see from uh, the result before the hypothesis one, culture has a po uh, efforts on PTA were supported, and the second familiarity uh, have efforts efforts on PTA was not supported, and third one verification has efforts on PTA supported and VR experience has efforts on PTA were supported. Attitude to geological sites was not support uh, uh, on uh, efforts on PTA was not supported. And attitude to industrial tourism has efforts on PTA was supported. In hypothesis seven, PTA has efforts on attitude towards man size were supported. And the last one, the attitude towards man size uh, has an efforts on visit intention were supported. Okay, now let's see the uh, overview of research objectives and findings. According to the analysis result before, and the VR experience indeed has an effort on PTA advances with the HSS instrument from Hive Center. The VR experience can positively affect it by PTA. And the second and fourth objectives, uh, the PTA and Atmospheric interventions definitely have a significant impact on the visit intentions and they uh, seem a positive effect on tourism intentions to months. And the third one for the culture, culture has an iPad on PTA. Different cultural groups have different perceptions of tourism at, uh, atmospheres. The Chinese group perceived the atmosphere at months to be less attractive than the non-Chinese group. The project offers a variety of uh, avenues for further research. There is a list of possible future work follows. The first one, investigate how PTA impacts on biophysical reactions. Actually, the biophysical reactions has already collected uh, during the VR experience survey, but uh, include the scan conduction and the heart rate. But uh, because of the time limit, uh, maybe I will use in my future research. And uh, the second one, more non-Chinese data need to be collected in the future. And third one, a greater gap between the two man sites should be sought at the result review. The two man sites were somewhat a uh, little bit similar in on the saved tourism intention uh, intervention. And the last one, subjective norm uh, construct should be included into further research. 
Okay, that's it for my presentation today. I would like to thank Curtin High for the technical support, and thanks very much for my supervisors, uh, Michael Ben and Shumei, and many thanks for Weasley and Carly for their support and continuous feedback and their contribution to the report. Thank you for your time.